Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. As you can see, we have finished the bike that you've all been waiting so long for, and so have I. It's only been five or six months in the making, but we've picked it up and it's here. So we'll just do a little overview before we have a look round. Um, I've used an unscientific method to weigh it. I uh, stood on some electric scales. Then I picked up the bike and hugged it and uh, noted the difference. I did that three times. And the first time the difference was 8.2 kilos, then it was 8.4, then it was 8.2. So I'm going to guess it's about 8.2 and a bit kilos. Don't know exactly because I haven't got any digital hanging scales. Um, but that was the best method I could come up with. So let's have a look around it and um, show you all around. Okay, so we'll start off at the point of the most discussion along the way, and that was angle of the seat post or the seat tube and whether it was too far forward or not. And um, let me just back up a bit. Um, as you can see, the adjuster is a bit forward of centre and I'm not that far back. You know, it's not um, the seat saddle sorry the saddle isn't back very far so and uh and that is the perfect place for me so um loads of room if you're interested in getting one you won't have a problem with this saddle position at all moving on um as we've seen distance between the continental 25 and the uh, seat post tube. Here's uh, plenty of gap there, the 25, 28, as I said. And uh, as you know, they didn't fit because they actually touched there when I was putting the wheel on. Okay, so we've got Ultegra uh, flat mount caliper here with resin pads. We've got the 140 mil Dura Ace rotor. At the moment, it's got the standard uh, center lock adapter. However, I'm going to get some different ones and I'll show you on the front wheel. Uh, the reason being, the bike shop couldn't actually do up the front rotor tight enough. It kept rattling and um, the mechanic there changed it to a different center lock um, nut and uh, it holds it fine. So what I've done is I've, I'm have i going to go to the ones that you use on the front, primarily because these, uh, these ones here, when I can get my finger there, these, I've got to use the cassette tool to unlock them. And what I found was some of them, the cassette tool doesn't go all the way in and I ended up uh, shearing it and I got my front rotor stuck on my last bike. So, um, I'll be changing because of that. Um, DT Swiss skewers, as you might have been reading, these are a little bit short. And uh, we'll see on the other side when I get round there. And um, what else have we got? So we'll move along to the front. So um, we've got Ultegra uh, 140s there. That's the new flat mount caliper. Um, this is the center lock. This is just a a um, loaner from the shop to the others come in. Um, this is one that you put on with a bottom bracket tool rather than the cassette tool. Um, and he was able to do that up tight enough. And um, he seems to think some of the shapes of the hubs, I don't know whether they're oval or that they're slightly different shape. So sometimes that's why it was quite strange because when the when the lock nut was off the bike, I could get the cassette tool all the way in. When it was on the bike, I could only get it in about half a millimeter and that's why I sheared it off and um, I had to get them to take it off. So we've gone to the 140 disc on the front. Um, there's the 60 mil rims with the Continental GP 4000 S2 rubbers. Uh, 80 mil valves uh, with some electrical tape there to stop the rattling does the trick. 
Okay, we'll move up. So we've got uh, the amount of spaces. We have a 5, 10, I'm sure that's a 10, 30 mil of space. Now I'm going to ask the viewers a question here because this stem used to be the other way up. Um, and I've turned it down to fit to look good with my Aerofly bars. Um, there's a little thing underneath here, if I can get my camera in there. Well, I'm sure that that used to be on the top. Because when we go to the top, you can see, I don't know if you can see, the spacer on the top doesn't sit exactly flush with the top of the set of the clamp there. There's a little gap underneath, you see it? Um, I'm wondering if I can take the insert out of the stem clamp, um, turn it turn it over and put it on the top, it'll sit flat. Perhaps you can help me out there, I'm not too sure. Okay, moving round, we've got the Aerofly bars with a 10 mil spacer on the top, just in case I need to come back up. Um, handlebars are, um, what was it, eight millimeters lower than before. Uh, than I had on my Roubaix. Um, what we've done here is we've clamped the DI2 cable and the rear brake, if I can come round together, they both go in there. So we've got the wireless unit sitting around there, uh, the Bluetooth sitting around there. Um, so we've got Altegra hydraulic levers, left and right. And coming down, we've got a DT Swiss hub. Now these have got, he says if he can do it, without tipping the bike over, two seconds. There you go, these have got removable heads. And that's the reason that I got them, because I wanted it to have a more of a clean look than having a handle sticking out. Um, so I ordered them, but they've, they've come up just hammer that in, that they're a bit short. So what I might, or what I am doing is reordering the original Yolio ones. Uh, Jasmine has sent me some of those and they're on their way from China at the moment. When they come here, I'll stick them in. What I'll do then is I'll measure them up um, and I'll see if I can get some ones without heads with a longer thread. So um, what I'll do now is I will turn it round and we'll show the other side. Okay, we're back on the other side. Okay, so let's have a look round here. So, we've got battle damaged Dura Ace, a 9000 series short cage trailer. Um, my own blend of chain lube, it's not actually my own blend, it's a copy of Oz Cycles uh, blend. Um, it's over my dra over my cassette and over my chain. I'm just going to clean a little bit of the excess off there because as you can see, it's going up the spokes a little bit. Um, haven't ridden it yet. I've just been spinning the spinning it around, testing out the um, auto shifting DI2. Right, let's get into the interesting part on this side, and that is the lack of thread. As you can see, I don't know if you can see in there. There's the threads, and I can just about see the the axle, the through axle. Uh, I don't know if I can zoom in there, but um, it's not there. You see, and look how far in that is. So I'm not going to ride it until I can get a bolt, or the ones that came with the frame, or another bolt after that that comes all the way to the end, preferably. Um, I got a little scratch there. I must have banged it on something, but I've got some chain, some frame protectors coming, some chainstay protectors, so I'm going to put it on there. Let's move along. Um, uh, dual race pedals as well. This is from my old bike, uh, from my Rebay. So let's move along to the front, and as you can see, um, I've got about. I don't know how deep that is. Five mil, probably. Um, on the front one, on the front through axle. 
So it seems that the standard DC Swiss ones are too short. Um, so what I'll have to do is sell them on eBay because it's probably a bit long after I've bought them now to send them back and I've, well, they're used. I mean, they're not overly used because they've just been used to screw in a, and keep the back wheel on, but they are used. So I probably won't be able to, to um, get them back. Okay, moving up. Sorry about the background again. Um, junction box A on the end of the bar. So for those of you who haven't been following, what I've got is obviously a rear Mac. That cable goes through there, through there, and the junction B is around about here. Junction B is around here, so we've got four cables coming out of junction B, rear mech, front mech, battery, and one up this, up the tube, and it comes out this side here, this little one. That then comes up into the shifter. Then we link the shifter through the bars to the other shifter, and then we link that around here to junction A. Um, that's the way I wanted it. Uh, just so I could have the least amount of cables outside. And that leaves me with three cables outside, as you can see. Sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit dark on this camera, so it's probably a bit lighter um, for you guys. But we've got one cable here, the hydraulic front brake. Two coming out of here, which are DI2 and the rear uh, brake. And that's the only cables coming out. Um, as I've said, 8.2 and a bit kilos. Seat position, not a problem at all. Very comfy. Um, it actually feels not as stretched out as my Rebay. Uh, maybe my, I'm not sure my saddle was too far back because I had a bike fit on that as well. Just a different geometry bike, but but um, very happy. Unfortunately, I can't ride it um, till I sort out those rear through axles. Uh, front one is hanging on a little bit, so I'm just gonna wait until I get the proper ones. Um, stem, little mark on here, that's because it used to be the other way up, and that's where the junction A, I had an external junction A, and that's where it sat. Um, so it's just marked it a little bit, but um, if we have a nice side view, it's very thin. I love that profile, it's thin. Um, just walk around it again. I'm very happy with it. I, I haven't ridden it, but obviously I, I rode it on the setup, very comfortable. Um, uh, yeah, just not a problem at all, and uh, look forward to taking that one out. If anyone can help me out with that stem again, yeah, that would be much appreciated. Whether I'm going to need, you can see the gap there, look, whether I'm going to need this, this little bit here, this little shim, which is an insert in the stem. Do I need it on the top rather than the bottom? I'm sure it's supposed to be on the top. But then the stem will tip up, won't it? I'm not sure. But um, if you can let me know what you think, that'd be great. Um, so there, that is the update on the uh, Yolio R6 Aero Disc. Well, the one that I made anyway. It's not a standard bike, but... Um, awesome so leave me a like or a thumbs up or put any comments you like down in the video below and i'll always reply to you um thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned hopefully i'll be able to get on it soon thanks for watching bye